In our next problem, we're going to use Hamilton's method. Use Hamilton's method to apportion the doctors in the clinic. Here we've set up a chart where we have our clinics listed along the top row. We have our populations listed in the second row. In order to use Hamilton's method, we would find our standard divisor and take each of our populations and divide by that divisor. In other words, in our first clinic, we would have 119 divided by our standard divisor, which is 50. And that value is going to end up being 2.38. Doing the same thing for each of the populations would give us 3.30 for clinic B and 4.32 for clinic C. We're now going to look at the lower quota for each. That would mean truncating down to the whole number part of the number. So we're going to have 2, 3, 4. Notice that this gives us a total of 9. In Hamilton's method, because we're going to need one more in order to get a total of 10, we're going to have to determine which clinic gets the extra person. And that's going to be the clinic with the greater decimal part. And that's going to occur for clinic A because we notice that clinic A has a decimal part which is larger than the other two clinics. So we're going to add one more person to clinic A to get Hamilton's apportionment, three, three, four.